As uh, entrepreneur, we must think of ways on how to make our operation successful so that we become more competitive. This is Emma. Do you have a volume Personally, here? Personally, she's well there. connected in the digital world. Her smartphone guarantees her constant web access and keeps her in touch with her friends. She uses dozens of handy apps to take care of everything when she's on the go. And there are thousands of new possibilities appearing every day. But why is Emma's company any different? True, she did introduce some technological tools to simplify administrative tasks, but that was many years ago. And IT has come a long way since. By now, those systems are practically ancient. When she tries to retrieve data, it can take ages. And communication with partners or customers is very roundabout. No one is ever quite on the same page. Enough is enough. It's high time for a digital transformation in the business world. Otherwise, Emma and many other companies might fall behind in the market as small startups and even suppliers and manufacturers become serious competitors. In the internet age, the value chain has been completely reorganized. Consumers and producers are now in direct contact. That's why Emma's company, its corporate IT systems, and all of its communications are overdue for an urgent upgrade. The internet links everyone in a global network. Emma can now identify the best partner companies quickly and collaborate with them seamlessly. The data flows over broadband technology and can be accessed anywhere. This lets Emma's company seize groundbreaking opportunities. She can implement interfaces to reach customers through brand new channels that target them directly. Plus, customized product extensions lead to fresh business models that are just as versatile as today's mobile society. In the digital world, IT is not only a tool anymore, it's the central seed for every company's growth. Emma is ready to go full speed ahead into the digital transformation. In her race against her competitors, that's how she'll gain ground and impress her customers. So that video will show you right, how digital could help your business, whatever business you're in, food, services, trading, etc. Right? Now, you may ask, you know, digital transformation is so broad. You know, how, where do I even begin? Right? Uh, we, we say here that digital transformation really, more than anything else, is a strategy. Right? It is a strategy. As a business, older, uh, business owner, you take a step back, look at your business, and study as to how you can leverage the technologies available right now right, to leapfrog your business and be competitive. What are those technologies? It doesn't have to be like you implement everything in one go. Right? And there are many ways to innovate and digitize your uh, business. So, what are these uh, areas that we can innovate as business owners, right? We say that there are actually three areas in your business that you may want to start thinking about. On the left side, you will see the operations, okay? So under operations, do you want to innovate your profit model? You want to convert that from, you know, let's say a CapEx intensive service to a subscription model, for example, right? In your network structure and process, the same thing. You can innovate in any of these areas. And then in the middle, the orange one, you will see there your product itself, right? How does your product perform? Do you want to innovate that? If before you were you know, only producing a certain kind of product, you may now consider, let's say, an ancillary benefit of uh, manufacturing that product, and therefore you innovate your product offering, right? Now, in terms of engaging your customers, this is also an area of uh, innovation, okay? How do you delight your customers? How do you make their experience more delightful. So all of us will be able to relate to this as example if we take Grab, right? 
the, the, the ultimate experience there is when we book, automatically we have a ride. But more often than not, what happens is that it takes so much time to get a confirmation and sometimes they cancel. So there's a lot of uh, improvement that can be made when it comes to customer engagement. Of course, underneath that, we have our people. The employees in our organization that would help us ensure that we can innovate in these areas. And what are the capabilities that we want to pursue in our business? Do we want to be more cost efficient? Do we want to look into new business models? Okay? Make our speed to market faster. Okay? And then, of course, at the end of the day, when we all decide on the strategy, on the capabilities that we want to develop, then we look at the market and see the technologies available. Technology is always the last piece in the puzzle. Okay? Technology is becoming cheaper nowadays. It's easy to adopt it. So it is more important to crystallize your strategy before you invest in technology. Okay? Now, what are the examples? For example, Carmen's Best Ice Cream, founded by the Magsaysay. How have they been innovating or digitally transforming their business? They have already integrated a uh, point-of-sale system. Okay? That is an example of uh, uh, digital transformation in operations. Okay? Mober, for example, this is the logistics company. Right? Providing cargo uh, services, delivery. They are now um, uh, transforming themselves. Okay? And then in terms of uh, innovating your products, for example, my legal whiz. Uh, sorry, let me just go back there. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, My Legal Wiz. This is a legal app developed by a Philippine company that allows lawyers to just Google all the case studies in the Philippines. And this has been digitized from 1900 onwards. Okay? This is a very good example of adopting digital transformation in your strategy because really, how legal, how our lawyers would research on cases, right? They have to go to the books, to go to, you know, some library that has all the content that they need for uh, whatever uh, jurisprudence case that's relevant. And that's a lot of work. Now, in your smartphone, you can already access the cases. So that's a lot of efficiency in providing the service, Okay. Next, onestore.ph. This is an e-commerce site that allows you to order. Uh, I believe this is from Tugigarao, if I'm not mistaken, and then they can deliver uh, in all of Luzon. So this is good. This is good as well. Okay. Uh, customer engagement. How do we start transforming this? Queensland, for example. This is a catering company uh, in Las Piñas. And they used to uh, use Facebook Messenger. But uh, what happened was their employees were bogged down with a lot of inquiries. So, ang nangyayari is, wala na sila ibang ginawa kundi sumagot ng Facebook Messenger. Is that efficient? Maybe not necessarily, right? So, uh, what the company did is to develop a chatbot. So, for all simple FAQ uh, or questions that can be readily addressed uh, by a chatbot, okay, they have uh, put it there. So, but for other more customized questions, that's where they can add value as a, as a provider for uh, catering. Okay, so inquiry of available packages, the, the, the uh, basic standard questions can be addressed by chatbots. Okay? Now, Renegade Folk, another one. This is also a local startup that has started using, let's say, social media, Instagram to develop their business or to promote their business. A lot of us here, of course, we use Facebook and social media. That is a good start, 
okay, in terms of bringing your business out there with very, very minimal resources. Okay? Now, culture and people. How do we start innovating this? As Filipinos, we are very clannish. Okay? We like hanging out together in groups. Okay? We eat out together uh, all at the same time. Okay? So, for example, Novare, what they did is they subscribed to a collaboration platform by Google. Okay? Which helps them given the culture of Filipinos, even collaborate in the digital space. So physically, you go to lunch together, but also in the digital world, right? You share stories in your news feeds, social feeds, using the capabilities provided by Google Apps. And Novaria is becoming increasingly a very, very successful IT company in the Philippines. Okay? So going back... Just to provide further inspiration, these are the areas that you as business owners can start innovating. Yeah, after this session, you, you will start thinking about your business and areas that you know can be quick wins in terms of getting into that digital space, right? Now, what it says here is that, in fact, the micro SMEs in the Philippines uh, we, are, we are basically technically ahead of our peers in the region. So that is a lot of encouragement and motivation for micro SMEs like ourselves to, to look into the technology and the strategy that digital can offer us. Okay? Again, I'm Kay from Hungry Workhorse. If you have any questions... Just feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. K. Kalpulugto. Kindly stay on stage, ma'am. And uh, may we call on again our executives uh, to award you with a certificate of appreciation.